Hi guys, welcome back to Jen's channel. You guys, today I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you to two of my favorite places in LA, Wags and Walks, where we got little Rue here, and Vanderpump Dogs. And I wanna just tell you guys all about, she can smell treats in my hand. I wanna tell you guys all about the amazing things that they do, why it's so important to adopt and not shop, and to save little animals that need a home. And I'm going to tell you about the adoption process, um, show you kind of the facilities, <laughs> okay? Show you the facilities, and then basically I just want to really encourage you guys to go to your local shelters and rescue centers and take a look at like these cute little friends that need saving. Because I'm going to tell you something, I've had dogs from pet stores and from breeders, and a rescue dog appreciates you on a whole other level. I'm at the happiest place on earth. I actually am a little emotional being here because this is where I found my baby. I'm at Wags and Walks and we're gonna basically go in and find out all the amazing things that they are doing here to save little fur babies that need homes. Welcome to the Wags and Walks Adoption Center. This is so cute. Oh wow. This feels like I'm in like the Hamptons. <laughs> so our vision for the adoption center was to have it be the opposite experience of going to the shelter where a lot of people feel sad it's dark it's cold yeah. it's not very welcoming and we wanted this place to be bright and warm and well you did it loving. it's so Thank cute you. and what's back here this is like a little shop it is so we have a, a boutique pop-up shop here with one of our partners pussy and pooch and when you adopt a dog you can get all of the essentials and 50 percent is donated back to the rescue which is How awesome cute pussy and pooch what a name last year we adopted homes for more than 1,200 dogs wow. in our first year being at the center, oh which is amazing. Oh, awesome. Before, we were adopting out about 800 dogs, so wow. having the center has made a huge difference. Another great thing about adopting is uh, because all of our pets are spayed and neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, they've been seen by our vet partners, you know, you're getting a dog, you know, you're getting a healthy dog. Right, which can be a common problem with um, backyard breeders or puppy mills, they're not always coming from the most healthy environment. Right. There's a lot of like inbreeding and things happen, right? Exactly. If people want to, okay, say like they don't have room for a dog, but they want to help and, and donate to the center, how do you do that? You yeah. just showed me there's a wall of like bones that if you, how much do you donate? Sure, so we've got a few sponsorship levels. We've got some bones that you can have your family's name or your dog's name put on the wall. We've got some portraits of your dog that you can hang. Um, and we're always looking for more support. Um, the best place to find out information is going to wagsandwalks.org and you can find out everything about our adoption center and how you can get back. Is that Lily from Modern Family? That is. Yeah, she adopted Ruby, a precious pit bull, who actually just won the Hallmark Dog Rescue Show for the Best Belly Rubs category. <laughs> So this is our building two, where all of our dogs live temporarily until they find their forever home. Okay. And we've got 28 kennels on site here. We've got dogs of all different kinds. Okay. Wow. So now you guys get all of the dogs from kill shelters. Like you save them from the kill shelters. We do. Our team goes to high kill shelters for city and county shelters in Los Angeles. We've got all sorts of dogs, different ages, sizes, breeds. We select our dogs based on temperament and personality. We just want loving dogs that are going to make great additions to anyone's family. You'll notice that all the kennels are empty because we're bringing in new dogs today from the shelter. We had a lot of adoptions this week, which is great. We have around 90 dogs in our care at any given time. And you guys groom them here? We do. We have a baby is this your and grooming station. This is Fabby. She is amazing. She does all the grooming. Can I just come in here? Yeah. Fabby, you have my dream job. I would love to do this. I cut hair you for people, but I would rather do this. Fabby is a miracle. Can I pick them, people? Sweetheart. Good job. William, let me see you, sir. You little chumps. Are you too heavy? So 
So how did William get here? Um, so William was an owner of Surrender. He is currently on a weight loss journey because he came from a home that didn't have him on the most healthy diet. So he is working on getting himself fit and uh, healthy also boy. Looks like I did when I first moved to LA from Utah. I'll be honest. <laughs> So if you want to volunteer, go to wagsandwalks.org and you can complete a volunteer application. And from there, our team will reach out and get you scheduled to come in for an orientation to learn about Wags and Walks and all the ways you can help. And companies can come and bring all their staff, so Way will be here for sure. We yes, absolutely. We love to have group volunteers come through and we'll set up a day for your team to walk dogs and play with them and have a great time. Basically have the best day ever and they have Jolly Ranchers here just so you know. <laughs>